folks. We want to talk about the Quran. We want to talk about the Birmingham manuscripts. And we want to talk about what you've been hearing in the news concerning the Birmingham manuscripts. You've all been told that the oldest Quran has now been found here in England, in Birmingham. That came out about two months ago. And you heard that the date on that is 568 to 645. You're a debater, aren't you? I am. I you am. like this debate we had today, don't you? Very much so. No, you debate, no, you you're free about, to attack you? Islam. No, We're going to live in your free to attack Islam. How many times have you debated? But you cannot preach your Bible. How many times have you debated? You cannot preach your Bible because there's no talk about the Quran. for you. Yes, I do. Were you watching this debate today? Yes, I do. Yeah, what was your impression as you watched it today? It was happy. We never got any dates. So why is it important that we didn't get debates? I think that the debate... Dating is Thanks. very, very we don't here. care. Okay. The dating One shows second. that what we find in these manuscripts is that they're pre-Islamic. So right. that poses some serious historical problems. Why does that prove? Or why is that serious? And why are these problems? Because it goes against the standard date of 650. If these manuscripts or folios are prior to Muhammad, then that supports the to argument. To it supports the argument. Even the Quran mentions in Surah 25, verses 1 to 4, I believe, that the unbelievers were saying to Muhammad, this is nothing new that you're telling us. Okay. We've heard this before. These are just tales of the ancients, okay. which seems to support the contention that these stories we read about in the Quran are actually borrowed. The story of Cain and Abel and Jesus speaking as a child, making birds out of clay and so forth. Now, these are well known, are they not? Absolutely well known. And they're well known within Jewish tradition, are Correct. they not? And Christian as well. Do you think that these stories came from the Quran? They did not come from the Quran. Because they are from this part of the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th century. They're pre-Islamic, absolutely. Are that, is that before the Quran, those days? Definitely before the Quran. Now, Mansoor made a very good point. He did say, hold on a minute. Nonetheless, these manuscripts that we do have, we don't have any of the originals of any right, of them. Right. Why is it we don't have the originals of the ben uh, Jonathan Ben Uzziah, or the San uh, Bar Sanhedrin, or the... Uh, second Targum of Esther. These are the uh, Jewish apocryphal writings. Well, we don't. We don't. You mean the originals? You're referring to the originals? Yeah, why don't we have we the don't have them. They've, been, they've gone missing. They've been retained in Jewish tradition, in the Mishnah, in the Talmud. But even the Jews recognize that these stories are not canonical. They're not part of the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. No, but the question I'm asking is, how do we know that they were written in the 2nd, and the 3rd, and the 4th, and the 5th century? Well, because they pre-existed. They were current, and they were circulating among Jews and so Christians. So they were circulating. Absolutely. There's not just one manuscript we're no, talking about. There's, there's a, a whole of pantheon of Correct. traditions. Correct. These are well known then. Yes. They're referred to in other documents. Correct. They're referred to in other writings. Yes. No one doubts the dates for Jonathan Ben Uzziah. No. No one doubts the dates for the second Talmud of Ezra. No. No one doubts the dates for the Mishnah Rabbah. No. Second century. The Bar Sanhedrin. Fifth century. Correct. What about the sectarian writings? The Christian sectarian writings? They are definitely pre-Islamic and they are folklore stories that were very well known to the Christians of uh, Syria, Syria, the Arabian region, and so forth. And who was writing these stories? Uh, presumably, these were uh, sectarian groups. What kind? Of, give me some names. Well, we have groups like uh, the Abunites, uh, we have uh, Monophysites, and other groups. The Gnostics? The Gnostics as well. The Bar, okay. The and the Gnostics did not believe that Jesus was a human being. So they denied he was a human. They believed that the creator of the world was a demiurge, a fallen god, an evil god. And so these were definitely not Christians. Okay, what about the Monophysites? The Monophysites believe that Jesus only had one nature. Okay, now stop and think. Is there another religion that believes the same thing? Islam. Oh, only human. He's only Isn't human. that interesting? And is it not many of these documents that you find in the Quran? That's correct. That he is only a human. He only does human. not eat in Surah 5, Ayah 75. Right. That doesn't surprise you, does it? No, it doesn't. Because these are also in writings that pre-exist the Quran. Correct. If they pre-exist the Quran, they come before the Quran, right? Obviously. Logically. Therefore, they should have been written down. Right. So are these also written down in Arabic? Yes, they were. Like the infancy gospel of Thomas was very well known in Arabia. In fact, the Arabic gospel, the lost gospel of the Arabic gospel. Correct. Or Arabic writing. Right. So they would have been written prior to the Quran as well. Yes. yes. Would you suggest then that these folios that we're now dating from 443 to 599, that's the 5th and 6th century, that's a whole century before Muhammad. Yes. 
that these may be some of these writings. Yes, because in surahs 18, 19, and 20 contained in the folios, they contain the story <coughs> that's, that's of the, the seven Birmingham sleepers. One. Yeah. That's yeah. 18, 19, 20 is right. the Birmingham one. That right. would be later. That would have a median date of 606. Right. But certainly, the ones that they are dating in Leo and yes. Arizona, right. which Munso doesn't like those dates, because right. he says they don't agree, therefore we can throw them out. Right. Why is it that folios and manuscripts have different dates? Why would you think? That they have different dates? Yes. They may be based on the parchment or the skins upon which they were written. Okay. It takes like, based on when those skins were were created. Right. When the animal when died. The animal slaughtered. The fact that they're all early suggests that these are earlier writings. That's correct. Where would the people who wrote the Quran get these stories from, if not those earlier writings? Yeah, Pre-existing stories, because the stories in those surahs come from those other stories we've been discussing. Okay, now... Let's talk about the tote copy. You heard about the tote copy. He wanted to find out if I had the right the right dates. Right. I said copy? early to mid eighth century. Right. Give me the dates for early to mid eighth century. What does that mean to you? What is well, tote copy? Eight, mid eighth century. The medium date would be seven fifty. It's a manuscript. Well, the, one of the manuscripts. Mid eighth century is seven fifty. Right. Right. So early to mid would be what? Early to mid, I would put at maybe six ninety nine to seven fifty. Six ninety nine is actually seventh century. Right. That's not early. It's, it's early eighth century. Right. So I'm going to right. I'm going to caution you on okay. that. Okay. Early eighth century would right. be seven ten to seven fifty. Right. Okay. At the most seven hundred, but not six ninety nine. Right. Just a being point. super conservative. You're being super conservative. <laughs> now, who was ruling? In early seventh century, in early seventh century, who ruled from six eighty five to seven hundred five? In terms of Christian, uh, uh, no, world? Muslim. In that time period, that would be Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. Have you heard that name before? Yes. Why is Abdul Malik so important? Because Abdul Malik does something that is actually castrated. Well, not maybe that's too big a yeah. word. Not catastrophic, right? But certainly significant for Islam. He yes. builds a building in Rock. Jerusalem, yeah. the Dome of the Rock, right. in 691. That's right. What does he put on the Dome of the Rock, on the inner ambulatory in the, uh, there, which is the inner part, the only part that's original yep. today? That's the only original yep. part of that building. He has an inscription there that refers to Jesus being uh, the son of Mary uh, and referring to him being just a human being, nothing else. The monophysite. The monophysite here. It looks like a monophysite writing, doesn't that's it? right. It looks like... This is borrowed again. Right. The earliest inscriptions we have on the Dome of the Rock, the earliest Muslim inscription. Right. Remember, the word Muslim didn't exist before no. Abdul Malik, did it? No. The word Islam is not found in any documentation before Abdul Malik. Right? That's correct. He is the one that introduces that name. Right. He is the one that introduces the word Muslim. He is also the one that, right, that builds the Dome of the Rock. Right. And those inscriptions on the Dome of the Rock are against Jesus Christ, are That's they right. not? That's right. And what is it that they don't like about Jesus Christ? Zero four one seventy one. 171 Yeah, they don't like his, the fact that Jesus was crucified. They don't like the fact that he was deity, that he was the divine son of God. Crucifixion is not on the Dome of the Rock. It's not on the Dome of the Rock. We heard that today. Which is very interesting. Yeah, that's interesting that that's not there. Yes. But what is on the Dome of the Rock? Say not three. That's right. For God is what? One. And he has no, no partners. partners. In fact, the first Shahada. Yes. That we see anywhere very different. is on the Dome of the Rock. That's right. Why is it different from the Sahad that we use today? It's very different because there's no mention of Muhammad being Rasulullah. And what else about God? This says that he is one and that there's no partners to He be has no partners. Who is that attacking? That's attacking the Christians, the Orthodox Christians. So it looks like, if you look at the Dome of the Rock, Abdul Malik is introducing something new here. Right. He's introducing a new prophet. Correct. He was in contradistinction to the Christian prophet. Right. The Christian God. That's right. That is one yet three. Right. The triune God. Right. It's an attack against the Trinity. That's correct. Not. That's correct. And it's attack against also that God would have a partner. That's correct. Isn't that interesting? Very interesting. So you see a new sectarian movement being introduced with Abdul Malik. Right. Now when you introduce and build a big building like the Dome of the Rock, the largest building of its kind, right. bigger than the Se uh, Sepulchre. Yeah, the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Holy Sepulchre, Jerusalem. much bigger. Yes. It's basically saying, we're bigger than you. Right. We now control. Right. Abdul Malik was the caliph. Right. He was up in Damascus. Why did he build this building in Damascus? 
He built the building in Damascus. No, why didn't he build it in Damascus? Well, I think Jerusalem is the holy city, and Jerusalem was the place Absolutely. where Jesus was believed to die. If you're going to take over and become now the the, the new right. sectarian group, the new group, the right. new Arab group, right? It's going to have an Arab prophet right. in Arabic. Right. So that's why the prophet is introduced on the Dome of the Rock. Right. Look at the date, 691. Right. Once you have a prophet, what does a prophet have to have? A prophet has to have what? He has to have scripture, he has to have power. A revelation. Right. He needs a revelation. Right. So therefore, you're going to have to start borrowing, are you not? Absolutely. You're going to have to start borrowing. And where are you going to borrow from? The only place is the Bible. And our Jewish folk Why did they borrow from the Bible? Because they had nothing. They didn't have the Bible. Because right. when was the Bible translated into Arabic? In the late 8th century. We're talking about the late 7th century, are we not? 691. There was no Bible in Arabic. No. So what do you go to if you don't have the Bible in Arabic? Well, you go to Jewish sources and Christian sources like the Talmud. The you go to the Torah. Yeah, you go to the Talmud. We've come full circle, folks. But let, let Did you notice what we started out with today? We've come full circle, yeah. have we not, Tony? Absolutely. Yeah. What we're showing, folks, is here Abdul Malik wanted to create an Arab identity. Remember, they have been in power since 642. Right. So you're talking about around 40 to 50 years right. the Arabs have been in power. But they were always dependent on Jews and Christians for the prophetic line. Yes. Yes. Jews and Christians for all yes. the scriptures. And the they both go back to Abraham. The Dome of the Rock was based on, again, Christian architecture. Christian architecture. To say, this is bigger than yours. Right. We've got the bigger, the best. Right. And we've got the final prophet. Right. But what once you create that identity, which Abdul Malik wanted to do, he took off all the images right. and replaced them with Arabic scripts. Right. What's that say? Arabic now is going to be the international language. The dominant language. It's yeah. going to be the dominant language. Right. That means they're going to have to introduce a dominant prophet. Right. It's going to be an Arab prophet right. with an Arab Quran. Right. But where is that Quran? That's what we're asking. It starts to be introduced by yes. Abdul Malik. Yes. Now, what did Mansur fail to do today? Did he date the top copy? No, we're, we're still waiting for the dates. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't date it. Where did he date it? Early 8th century. There you go. <laughs> Stop and think. Is that in the time of Abdul Malik? Well, Abdul Malik was 691. 69, 685 to 705. Right, right. He gives over to Al Walid right. in 705. Yes. Al Walid then starts writing all kinds of manuscripts. Right. Do you know about some other manuscripts that have now appeared? What are some other names of manuscripts that are not the top copy? Well, How about the Samarkand? Right. The Samarkand? Does it agree with the top copy? No. No, it doesn't. No. Now, why did Mansur talk about that? Obviously, he's trying to evade the issue. How the far, variant. how much of the Quran is the Samarkand? Only 43 surahs. Right. It only goes up to about half the Quran. In that 43 surahs, are there manuscript variants? Absolutely. Do they agree with the top copy? No. No, they don't. So there's a second one that doesn't agree with the top right. copy. Do we have other ones? Well, we have the... Uh, well, the mail right the, here. The, the, the British Library. Yes, the British Library. Does it agree complete with the top no, copy? it doesn't. It doesn't. So we're finding other manuscripts that start to appear in the 8th century. Right. Now remember, this is not the 7th century. Right. This is the 8th century. So new manuscripts start to appear that don't agree with the 7th century manuscripts. Correct. What does that show you? It shows you that the text was not static, as the, the usual traditional story says, but that it has undergone evolution and development. And there's disagreements in factions and so forth. That's a sign. Now you know about Dan Brubaker's yes. research. He's yet yes. to publish his book. Yes. We did get some. We did get his book beforehand. Right. We looked at it. Right. He found within these six major manuscripts, he found 800 differences. Right. Now we know that those 800 differences, Tony, those 800 differences are spread out throughout the six manuscripts. Right. In fact, he's added another four on top of that, so that's ten manuscripts. Right. So here we have, looking at these, we have insertions, we have deletions, right. we have coverings, yep. we Taping. have tapings, yep. we have writings over top of coverings, right. we have also some that they didn't even bother to erase, they right. just wrote over top. Right. When you look May at that, what does that suggest to you? Oh, what does that suggest to you? Well, it suggests, that, once again, that there has been variation, mm -hmm. and there has been change. And, and this what is are they standardizing it to? Because they're all changing it back to what? 
Well, they tried to standardize it into the Uthmanic percentage. Back to the one standard. So where is that Uthmanic one? We don't have it. We don't have it. Oh, we have a professor, we don't have any of it. So uh, what one are they probably bringing you back Jay, to? You I'm sorry? Which Let's one are they think they're bringing you back to? Bring it back I would this? suggest probably to the top copy. Yes. Probably the top copy is can the one they're going to. We're going to find out more. Can I ask but what do you notice? Can I Why is it we cannot find any manuscript from the time of Uthmanic that is complete? Lying, and I'm changed. Lying will not bring more people. How are you doing, we can't find Lying it. will not bring more people to your face. Why is your speech not lying in it? It goes back to the spot. You know about why? No, I want to ask you why, do you think? Can I ask why? you some questions about Jesus? Why? Because it's, they've been destroyed. According Manipulating to the, according, uh, Bukhari, bring more all of those manuscripts were destroyed. Speak louder, please. By the order of. Uh, bu, uh, it looks like they were destroyed. Now let's look at the Bible. And let's look and ask of the Bible. Can, Can I, you notice the, co the claim has been made today that we got our material and borrowed from other sources? Yeah. And the two examples he gave yeah. were the Gilgamesh epic, and he also gave the Atrahasis. Right, right. The Atrahasis from 1635 yeah. BC, yeah. the Gilgamesh from the 6th century BC. Right. Yet we notice that they're very simplistic. Very. They don't say much about anything. Right. The biblical text is much more sophisticated. Much more. Yeah. It is more foundational. Well, in, the, in the Bible, it also says that man is made in God's image. Yes. In these other texts, they're not made in God's image. Men are made to be slaves. Yes. They are yes. slaves to the deity. That's right. And they're there. And they're there to serve the gods. That's oh, yeah, what Epic Elgon has to say. Can I just say that God? the Islamic Why paradigm, the Islamic, the Islamic paradigm of master and slave, can can I his the Islamic paradigm of master and slave. All the way from Canada. The Islamic paradigm of master and slave is the same one as the Quran. Exactly the same. Here we go. When you look at, let's just say, they had always, the scholars have always said that the Old Testament cannot, nor can they not bring up any authority for Abraham. They're saying we can dismiss Abraham. We can dismiss Moses, can we? What do we now know about Abraham? We know from archaeology that a lot of the stories in Genesis, the migration accounts, are all in accordance with archaeology. Do we have tablets that actually support about the Abrahamic account? Absolutely. Do we have the Nuzi tablets? Yes. The Mari tablets? Yes. The Amarna tablets? Absolutely. Help me here. How do these help us to support what the Abraham account that we read in Genesis? They support everything about, about what we know about Abraham. They support his migration. They support the names. They support the kings that are mentioned in Genesis 14 when he went to do battle with them. Do we find, do we find the customs about Abraham in the Nuzi tablets? We do. Do they parallel exactly in the Genesis account? Yes, they do. They we do. found custom after custom yep. after custom. Right. When were those customs eradicated? Yes, you are. Uh, they were eradicated by ISIS, actually. Actually, by 1400 BC. Yeah. yeah. Yep. When Moses what wrote these down, did Moses what live in Mesopotamia? Moses did not live in Mesopotamia. Would he ever have been to Mesopotamia? No. No. Would he have ever known about these customs? No. So Moses got the right custom, so putting the right man in the right place what at the right time. Correct. How did he get it so what, accurate? What about because because he has the documentation and he has revelation from God. Can I, okay. can I, I need to go with another one. Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah are two cities. Huh? That no one's ever heard of before. Herodotus doesn't censored. talk about it. Censored for the Thucydides never talks censored. about these two cities. Right. Yet the Bible again. is very clear they that these two cities censored. existed when Moses, I'm sorry, when Abraham lived. Right. When did Abraham live? Answering no, questions. 1900 BC. No, no, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, what documentation can we now use to support you have Plenty. Plenty. Of the Bible. Archaeology, Archaeology has discovered the remains of Tell me where they've discovered it. Ask your question. I'm, I'm not sure exactly where, where, but I know you want the Ebla tablets. The Ebla tablets have now discovered where Sodom and Gomorrah is. On the Ebla tablets, which is a tire city that had been abandoned. Let's talk about Jesus. They came upon one house. Inside the house was one room. Jesus. 
at the floor of that one room were 17,000 tablets. Right. Answer question. When you look at those 17,000 tablets, they came across one tablet. How about answering some questions? And when you look at those ta the tablet, how look about, at the... Listen, well, how about answering some questions? We're not here to answer no, your questions. Look, you get not? your own ladder. Why not? Because why we're doing... This is the only time letter. I have Tommy. This is the only time I have him here. This is the only time I have him here. Can I ask you No, he will get to that. We're going to continue this first. On that one tablet. Answer questions. On that one tablet. It has the name of five cities. Sodom. This is dictatorship. A Christian dictatorship in Speaker's Corner. Right. Now hold on. Christian dictatorship in Speaker's Corner. There's Sodom and Gomorrah. But the only place anywhere in the world where we've seen those two names. What are the dates for the Ebola Towers? 2300 BC. 2300 BC. These two cities are notified, are documented. Yep. When did Abraham live? By who? Documented. 2000 BC. Which comes first? Which comes earlier? The Ebla tablets are earlier. So they are in, in 2300 BC. These two cities existed. Right. By the time Moses wrote these down, did they exist? No, they didn't. Moses was living in 1400 BC. These cities have been destroyed. At the time of Abraham. Right. That's why Herodotus right. and Thucydides knows nothing about it. Right. But hold it, it's even better. Look at those five cities. Look at the sequence. Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zebulun, and Zoar. Right. Have you read those five cities before? Yes, I have. Where have you read it? In the Bible. Where in the Bible? Genesis. Where in Genesis? What about, what about chapter 14, 14, 14, verse 8. Right. In chapter 14, answer verse 8, question. you get the same five cities right. that are found on the other tablets. That's correct. Written, hold on guys, a minute, guys, in 2300 B.C. Right. That Genesis was written in 1400 B.C. Right. These cities were destroyed in 1900 B.C. Why right. don't you answer the question? How is it that you get the same sequence? And what's the significance of that sequence? How does he know? It's How does he know? Knew about he this cannot tradition even answer And that he recorded it. How can he answer Actually, this Actually, it gets better than that. Who are your sources? It's a trade group. Who are your sources? Right. It's a trade group that goes they from Sodom to Gomorrah Who are your to Adma sources? to Zebwin right. and Zoar. Right. Those five cities are on a trade route. And that trade route existed in 2300 B.C. It no longer existed after 1900 Says B.C. Who? And here we find it written down in 1400 B.C. Yeah. in Genesis chapter 14. Okay. Says who? So let's who? take questions. What no. does so let's take questions on that. Well, let's take questions. Let's take questions on that. 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 When he Jay. was living Hello? 900 it's years later, right. I can wait. these cities didn't exist. I can, wait. I can right. listen to all of this. You can come next week, but no. we're just doing it. Yeah. No, no, no. 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 Wait, no, no. Tony. He said he's going to ask the questions. Tell me why. Are you going to ask the questions? Yeah, that's fine. Answer what's today. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. He said it. What does the significance of this? No problem. What Moses received was accurate. And if he had no access to that, no physical material access, then that means that he would have received it by divine revelation from God himself. It has to be. He had no access to what it. does that now tell you about the accuracy of the Old Testament? That we can trust it. It's reliable. I trust we it. don't have the original manuscripts, do we? No, we don't. We would never expect to. No, we won't. But if we didn't have the original manuscripts, how is it they got this so accurate? Why is it we have the customs of Abraham so accurate? When these customs would have been out of date. By the time, by 1600 B.C. to 1400 B.C., they no longer existed. How did Moses know about these customs? He would not have known unless it was by divine revelation. And yet many scholars today say that this was not written by Moses Correct. in 1400 B.C. Yes. It was written in the 6th century. Right. Yes. 6th century? Do you believe that. that? No, I don't. Because nobody would have known of these customs. That's right. They wouldn't have known of these cities. Right. They wouldn't have known also so of what we now know about Abraham. Where are right. the manuscripts? Did Abraham ever go to Mecca? No. Not How can you say no when you don't know? In Surah 21, it says he went to Mecca. <laughs> not according to the Bible. Was there even any How Mecca that existed no? No. in 1900 B.C.? No. 
Was there any city called Mecca that existed at the time of Moses? No. Nope. No. How, how about you Jesus? Know? How do you know? How, do you know? No of it. how about how how no mention? No mention. mention? He's giving black and white answers. Here we go. Giving sources. We're not going to get into Mecca today. Okay. okay. Anand already knows where we're going to go. Yeah. You're yeah. in the head. Yes, let's go to Mecca. In let's every Mecca. case, we have not found one truth. piece of historical evidence that controverts one properly understood biblical statement. That's correct. Is there any other piece of literature that can make that claim? No. Absolutely not. No so only the Bible can make that claim. Right. Continue filming. Now, Tony, we've looked at the manuscript evidence today. Okay. It's pretty clear the Muslims did not want to date it. Right. They didn't want to come and show us. And they have yet to find out a complete manuscript that is unchanged from Let's the time talk of Muhammad. Let's There's talk one. about it. We don't want to do that because we don't even ask them anymore. Well, we know they can't. Let's, Let's talk about These folios are actually well, much earlier. Let's than talk about it. Let's we talk know about what it. these earlier manuscripts are. Right. These are sectarian writings. These are apocryphal environments. This right. is Jewish so why, apocryphal why literature. Talk about that, right? This is Christian sectarian writing. Well, why don't we talk about but that? But here we go. When you come to the Bible, what is it you love about the Bible? Uh, which, the which voice of God is heard in the Bible. It changes your life. It gives say you the good who? news. The good news is that God commands everyone to repent and come to a saving knowledge to know Him, to have true faith with Him. Our Muslim friends, our Muslim friends talk about salam. They say, well, salam alaykum to one another. But the question is, do they have salam with God? Do they have assurance of salvation that when they leave this world, they will go to Jannah? No true Muslim. Should ever say that they will go to the Ghana. The, Bible, the only book yes. that tells you how to deal with your sin. The Bible is the only book that tells you not only how to deal with your sin, only how to deal with your sin but how horrible and how devastating sin is. It, it also is the only book that tells you where sin comes from. That's correct. And where does sin come from? It comes from our sinful heart, our disobedience, first committed by our parents in the Garden of Eden. And so we're saying that rebel at the time of the God Almighty. At one time we were in God's presence, were we not? That's right, we were. At one time, Adam and Eve were walking and talking in the presence. That's right, they were. At one time, man and God were face to face. They were. At one time, God God did come down. Right. And he entered time and space. Right. He became, took on human form. Right. He was walking in the cool of the day. That's right. He was talking and calling out, where are you? That's right. Now, Tony, how do you walk unless you have legs? Yes, we should. You can. How do you talk unless you have legs? You cannot. So at one time, God took on human form. That's right. He came down and related to us face to face. So Is there any other religious book that says that? None whatsoever. None. And how do you Tony, know the line? Not do you want to be questions. walking and talking with God? Yeah, what do, you like do you want, want to go want back and walk and talk with God? Absolutely. I want everyone here to walk. But how God. can you do that? Only through Jesus Christ. You can't bring do that today, closer, can you? I'm sorry? You cannot do that today. Not by myself. Because Only God what? Can do that. what has happened? Well, because you we can, have sinned, you can do. we have you sinned, and we are called by God to repent. You can we turn from our sins no. and put our faith in Jesus. When did that sin begin? That sin began, yeah. that sin began in the like garden Islam when Adam and Eve rebelled against God. Okay, therefore, that sin in the Garden of Eden, God had to throw them out of His presence. Why did God have to throw them out of His presence? Because no sin can avoid the presence of God. I have a question. 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 God, God look upon was God sin. Cannot, nine months old. God in cannot look stomach. upon sin. Was right. God Which means nine months no old. Nowhere can he keep man in, in his presence. No. He did had God, to throw God man in his right. presence. That's right. Which means yeah, we're, all dead. Dead. we're all dead. We're all lost we're all without dead. him. Did God grow Absolutely. in knowledge? But I want to get back in God's presence. Right. Don't you want to get back Absolutely. in God's presence? Absolutely. Did God grow? How are you going to get back in God's presence again? Did God grow? Through Jesus. God sent his son into the world to save the world. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you're going to Tony, 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 if you put your faith, has Tony, to be done. Yes, yes. 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 Can we do Are you having a no, we can Why can't I listen. pay for my Bring sins? Adam, because you are a sinner and That's you are a debtor to God. Listen, Adam and Eve did many sins, right? Right. How many sins took them out of God's presence? One. One sin. Why are you ignoring That's all it took is one sin, right? Right. One sin destroyed that relationship. Right. Wow. Threw them out of God's presence. Right. Wow. How many sins did Adam and Eve do? Now, this is a message. They committed one and that kicked them out? 
and they continue to sin, but God provided a remedy. Because yeah, he can and what is that remedy? The remedy is the promised Tony Messiah, Jay. Jesus Christ. Hold on a minute. It's Something has to be done for that. Yes, Tony, you're still jumping the bun. God has to make sure Sin has to be paid. How can sin be paid? There must be blood shed. There must be life given. But whose life? Your life? No. My life? No, the life of a perfect person. There has to be a perfect person. Exactly. Who is the only perfect person? Do the river camps to your left Why is Jesus the only perfect person? Because he's the Son of God. He is the Lord. Only God is perfect, right? That's right. Only God is holy here. Only God could save. Only God is holy and pure. Right. So it had to be God who took on that sin. It had to be God. God who paid that price. Right. It had to be God as man. Did he not Correct. say that? Yes. In Genesis 3.15. What did he say to Eve? He said that the seed, her seed, the woman's seed, would crush the seed of the, the serpent's head. Yeah. Okay. That was the per first promise of and Messiah. And that, that the serpent would bruise his heel. Right. So it had to come from a woman. Right. It had to come from the line of Eve. Right. Are you woman. Written? Tell us about and who life. is that one that's going to come from a woman? Messiah, what do, Jesus Christ. And who do we? And where do we get that from? We get that from the Bible, from the prophets, the prophecies throughout the Bible that predicted the coming of the Messiah. What does Isaiah say about it? Isaiah said that he would be the wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father, the Son of Man, the Son of and Man. And Jesus the was never servant. called one of these what things. What did Isaiah say? Jesus was never Isaiah, called was any Daniel. of these things. Yeah. Well, what does Isaiah say in Isaiah seven? Isaiah said that a virgin will conceive and bear a son. The whole and virgins they, don't conceive. But by God's miracle, what they can. What do the Jewish rabbis say about this? A virgin, when a virgin conceives, it starts and says, this shall be a sign. Wake right. up. Right. What do the rabbis right. say about this? This is a sign. A virgin will they conceive what do the Jewish and bear a son. Say? Right. Virgins do not conceive. We know that. Right. So this is a miracle. Yes. When a virgin conceives, that son, I wonder what the word is. Called what? I wonder Manuel. what the word God is. With us. And you will. And what that means is the word God with us. God God with us. us. Amen. And who is no Emmanuel today? Jesus. No one is what is his name? Jesus. Jesus. What is his name? Jesus. Jesus. What is his name? Jesus. 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 Jesus
My question is, okay, my question is, when Jesus was in Mary's stomach, was he God then? Yes. When he came out of Mary, through natural process, always God, when Mary was cleaning his backside, Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 What did he no, do that you didn't, didn't do? do it. No, he, didn't. he died and rose again. No. Your God cannot go to the toilet. You need a bigger God. Yeah. Come on home, folks. We, we got, got him. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, my question was not yeah. Our God is not going to the toilet, man. He's clear My business. question hurt him a lot. My question hurt him a lot. That's why he had to go to the toilet. Let me finish my question. And was he fully God when he was growing in knowledge? Yes. Right. So God can be ignorant. No. So, but he grew in knowledge. You hear what I said? But he grew in knowledge. Okay. God, Jesus Christ, is right. God and man. Right. His humanity grew, developed. How do we? How do we decide? Right. Okay. Let, Let him finish. The Quran, right? It's the word of God, right? Right. Eternal word of God, yes. right? It became a book. Yes. Right. Yes. It's a book. If I rip up your Quran, it's it still the word of God. It's still the word of Why? God. Why? Because the book is not the word of God. The words okay. are. So that's the, the answer. Soul, so the, the manifestation, the right. physical Jesus, right. the man, okay. is a human being. Okay. He eats. He drinks. Why do you God. call him Hold fully on. God then? Because the word of God, the Kalimotua, the word of God is eternal. Jesus Christ was the eternal word of God. Okay. He became flesh. Okay. He's a he's a person with two natures. Right. You're referring to his human nature. Okay. The human nature is okay. eats and drinks. Next drink. question. Did I answer your question? No. No, he answered the question. You don't like the answer, but he answered the question. Did he not? My question. You don't like the answer. Wait, 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 wait. My question. My question, my question isn't finished. This man's been waiting for democracy. 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 Okay. Okay. You wanted it. Okay. No problem. Now, My question is an answer. I, I, I must, I'll wait. I, I must warn you okay. that I'm a plague on all your houses. Here. Whatever. Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm not under the curse of the, of the law, so I'm uh, fine. Okay. Go ahead. Because the curse of because, the law. Because I, I'm a rationalist. Okay. And an atheist. Okay. Now that's what, your worldview. Uh, okay. What, 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 I, what I've got to ask you yeah. is, where was the Garden of Eden? Where was the it? Garden of Eden is believed to have been in Mesopotamia. Really? Somewhere in Mesopotamia. Well, no, but that somewhere is not really good. No, no, no. no. Really of course, of course, okay. 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 So what's the point? Okay. okay. What, what did, what would, what did uh, Adam and Eve look like? What race were they? They were humans. No, no, what race? You don't know any race. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's just one race. There's only one race. No, no, no. Race. no, 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 no. Yeah. What ethnicity yeah. were they? We don't know. We're not told. Oh, well, how come? There were no ethnicity. Of, 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 of course, no, no, no. No, no. Take a guess. What ethnicity I'm were they? Get a guess because yeah. Of course you can. You must have an image in your mind. No, I don't. Were they Chinese? I don't know. Were they Chinese? Were they Aboriginal? I don't know. Were they, uh... Were they black? I don't know. This question don't make sense. No, 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 no. Questions don't make sense. No, no, no. No, no. Wait, 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 please. please. How long is this discussion? Please, please. Because what, I waited. What, what, what language? We don't know the language. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Listen, so, so far, I've asked you where the garden of Eden. You can't tell me. We don't know. We're not told exactly. We so far, I've asked you. Hold on. So far, I've asked you what ethnicity it were happening in. We don't know. You can't tell me. No. What language do they speak? We don't know. You can't tell me. You, what, what language do the snakes speak? What language do the snakes speak? We don't know. Of course you know. What is you it? must know. What is it? No, you know. I'm telling you, you we don't you, know. We're you, not told. No, no, no. Let's He's listen. answering your question. Let's, let's, I'm asking no, 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 a question. No, 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 no. Ignorance is not saying. No, no, no. Listen. 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 What evidence? What empirical? Um, no. Yes. 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 We're only, we're only, told, we only know what empirical. What, 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 what empirical? Hold is. on. What empirical? What archaeological? What anthropological? What? 
paleontology or paleontological okay. evidence okay. do you have for the Garden of Eden? Where is it? I just told you. We don't know. Of course you know. Well, we, you, what, we you, do you, know what we do know, how what, do you, what we don't know, what geneticists have told us, that all humans come from one common pair, listen, a male and a female. That's, that's, that's nonsense. nonsense. Yeah. That's and nonsense. Not that's nonsense. Not that's nonsense. Not that's nonsense. Absolutely. That's not nonsense. Absolutely. Francis Collins said that. Absolutely. Are you talking about mitochondrial leaves? Is that? Okay, 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 you have to come back to me. Okay, no, 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 let's, that's let's, another question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's hold on. another question. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. One more. No. Now hand me over to you. One more. This let's, question is gonna. Let's 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 discuss that? your God's love of slavery. Thing. Now. Let's go to. Have you got your Bible? No, but I know you're okay. going to. You're going to no, 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 no. Come on. There, there, there's a whole menu no, no, no. of them. No, 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 no. There's a whole menu of them. Listen, let's, 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 right? let's, 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 Time. Time. Let's, let's see the morality of your God. Leviticus. But why is it bad? I mean, Leviticus. What's your basis for morality? Chapter 25. I'm sure he's aware your question is invalid. Let's read what your God commands. No, right. Okay. Your, your, male, your male and female slaves are to come from nations around you. From them you may buy your slaves. Right. You may also buy some of the temporary residents living amongst you. You and members of your their clan born into your country. And they will become your property. You can will them to your children as inherited property and make them slaves for life. But you must not rule over your fellow Israelites with you. Now, no, 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 hold on. Okay. No, no, it's the same one. No, Finish no, no, no. your question, wait for his answer, and take his answer. Let's read on. Let's, let's, let's read on. Let's read on. Well, you made your point clear, no, man. No, 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 I haven't finished. Leviticus 20, chapter 20, verse 10. I know the verse of the verse. Listen, listen. Why does it have to be? Why does it Okay, can you answer the question? Can you answer the question? Why does your God love slavery? That's the question. We're reading, first of all, from the Old Testament. Right. And, 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 and Jesus Would you let him answer? Let him answer. 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 Talk to the crowd. Don't talk to him. We're not no, no, no. We're not here just for you. There's a lot of other people. To go and answer the question. We got to answer. We got the old covenant. The old covenant. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Let me. 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 Let me.
You're scared. No, you're you're scared. No, you're, you're, you take so long. Go ahead, on, on your next question. Hurry up. My next question. My next question. My next question. My next question. Colossians. Okay. You like to hear yourself. He got the point. Let's go on. Tony, next listen question. to Undone. Tony, what's your question? Next question. My question. Excuse me. Give, give him a chance. Give is there another question besides yeah. Undone and this character? Oh, your country. Okay. Your country was built on slavery. Your country is built on slavery. You follow our country to follow Jesus. Your, your country is built on slavery. Your Christian country. Oh, you're not even from America. We're built on slavery. He's a Canada. You love slavery. My last question. We hate slavery. You love it. Because we love Jesus! Jesus we follow! You ain't yeah. in the name Jesus of Jesus! Next question. There you go. And why did Wilberforce fight against slavery in this country? Why did Wilberforce fight against slavery? United States loves slavery. Lincoln, 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 Lincoln,
Thank God for Jesus. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? We started with the chronic account. We started with the classical account on the cross. We came full circle, did we not? Because we showed that they did not want to deal with these dates. Because the classical account does say that the Quran was complete. Right. I was saying, and many times I've said, to only four provinces. Right. It's now nine provinces. Right. 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 Which means they've got to come up with nine right. manuscripts. Right. That's even harder for them. Right. Can they find one manuscript? They haven't found one. From the 7th century. No. Complete. No. And unchanged. No. Well, find even the one from the 8th century. The even the no. 99th century. We don't have That's them. from the 8th century. Right. From, century. Right. from the early to late uh, mid-8th century. How many years after Uthman? Six to a hundred years after the right, flood. Right. We're still waiting for that, that original help, manuscript. That won't help you. We're still waiting for one of the nine manuscripts. Right, right, right. There's no excuse by no. the sixth century not to find original manuscripts. That's correct. Because they didn't need papyrus there. No. Everything was written in parchment no. and in vellum. No. We don't have that problem, thank have God. Have and by the way, that's why we're Muslims. Your first time is we're happy to what do you be think? Yeah, very good. Did you like this crowd? Oh, that's it for with you. They're great. They're great people. God bless you folks. We'll see you next week.